on the side here. Just got some moving done. Work with moving company. My days off sometimes, so just gotta keep hustling, keep grinding. Lockdown was initialized yesterday, so see how that goes. Just gotta find some way to stay active at this point. But um, yeah, moving in some furniture, just doing a local delivery. Yeah, guy moving from uh, Germany, so coming into Toronto, just getting that done. This is San Jose and Poland. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, no, there I have to go back. Yeah. It's Monday, April 5th. We are currently 17 weeks out from the Natural Canadian Pro Qualifier. It is 6.45 in the morning. I just finished some PM cardio or AM cardio. A little bit tired. It's also the first Monday of the third lockdown that we have in Ontario. Look at it however you want. I'm not going to voice my opinions on it. Um, not on here anyways but what I did want to say is the more you stress and think that you are going to fail in whatever your goals were if you think this is going to hinder you um I just want to say that look at this as a growing opportunity for whatever your goals are and this is just one more one more hurdle that you can and you will get over long term um, if your goals are health and fitness wise think of this in a different light and a different perspective that no matter what your goals are you need to find a way to adapt and come up with a plan to overcome all of these hurdles and this is where you have to develop different tools to how it's going to get you there um i find that maintaining check-ins taking pictures from back inside in my figure poses that helps keep me in check writing down my meal plans on my whiteboard in the kitchen. I see that every time I walk into the kitchen, that keeps me accountable. Checking with my coach, that that's the number one, hands down. And having a clear vision of what your goals are. I still plan on competing. I'm going to follow this through as far as I can. I know a lot of people think, have different perspectives on being in prep. Uh, during lockdown situations, and especially when things aren't 100% clear um, if things aren't exactly predictable, but the time's gonna pass by anyway, so I'm going to spend my time how I want to and I'm going to continue to do what makes me happy and being very structured is what gets me through. So those are some tips and tricks that I use. So just create a routine for yourself. Maintain those check-ins. Check in with yourself mentally, physically, write things down write your thoughts down and how are you going to overcome this moment whatever you think in those dark moments it's always always temporary i'm not going to pretend like this is like an easy walk in the park i 
as soon as the lockdown was announced. It took myself a day to, or that night to adjust. The next day I still did my cardio. I did a little home workout. I'm not going to pretend that didn't piss me off. I'm not going to pretend like I didn't actually cry during cardio thinking this was all just a giant waste of time. I did think that, I, but like, I still did it. So you still have to do what you need to do. Follow that plan in that process to get you where you need to be, especially if your goals are health and fitness related. Just finished my am cardio. I'm going to train some abs, shower, get ready for work. And then maybe I'll show you guys a little home workout. So that's it for now. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm all showered up and ready to get over to work. Just wanted to show you my little daily food what i'm gonna eat during lockdown um calories are gonna be a little bit lower i'm not doing as much output as it'll be when i'm going to the gym but i'm still gonna try to mirror everything that i can possibly do just to keep um everything into a solid routine don't want to change up too much this early in the game um yeah so let me show you what i got today so we have 150 grams sweet potato 100 grams of pro protein chicken 100 grams of white fish, 100 grams of white rice, and I got 100 grams of carrots. Now this is what I do. I have three eggs, put it into a Tupperware container, I'll put it in the microwave for a minute and a half, and then boom, busy girl lifestyle. I got some fresh eggs because I don't got time to cook them right now. Got my supplements in here. Right now I got my enzymes into vitamin Ds, then I have my calcium, my enzymes, my zinc, my iron, and my B12. This will be making a protein shake, and then I have banana, or I have bagels. These are delicious. I only have one of these. Uh, still keeping the carbs in. Just minimizing the portion sizes a tiny little bit and see how this week goes. Oh, and also got my banana over there as well. I'm worried about my company's business. We are not a chain branch shop. We are a, um, a small shop. You know, we uh, you know, still do performance parts, performance accessories. Um, we have a wide brand, r wide range of things that we do. Um, that's stress, especially when you are entering into a prep and then not knowing if the shows are even going to go on, when the shows are going to happen, if the gyms are going to open. But I just like to think of it as um, time is going to pass regardless. So it makes or breaks you how you're going to spend and pass that time because time's going to go on anyways so even though i'm anxious and nervous a lot of uncertainty makes me really anxious i am an anxious person but this is structure is how i cope with it so i'm going to continue my structured system and just keep on doing what i can possibly do whatever's in my control i'm going to make that happen and move and put my best foot forward and keep on going with whatever I can help with. Um, motivate you guys, um, show you some at-home workouts, uh, some good form. I'm gonna try to do whatever I possibly can, so make sure you guys you know, hit up my Instagram, send me a message, send me some comments, whatever you guys need. I will try my best to make it happen. That, that is sad. That right there, drive by my gym every day. It is empty, lights are out. It's sad. Got a block leak tester. Testing the head gaskets. So, it starts off blue. It'll turn up green or yellow. It'll change color with oxidization in between like the emissions gases in the head. So, we'll see if there's any vapors coming through there.
day. It's actually back day. I'm gonna try our best to see what we can get done with just a barbell and a couple of plates. Right now, we're gonna head over some bent over rows. We're gonna do three sets, four sets, uh, between six to eight. Um, got these 45 pound plates on right now. So I'm gonna hit my heavy sets. sets of a lighter weight we're gonna try to hit like 10 to 12 um, still bent over rows to do underhand grip so go here really bring that in elbows back get a nice row so you want to keep a nice flat back keep our hips pushed back out that way chest up hit a nice row up there <laughs> Another trick that I've been using is I do lots of core training. I try to keep my core nice and tight at all times. Um, I have been using this belt here. So predominantly it is a lifting belt. Um, I use it to keep my core contracted and I don't push out against it. So I'm keeping myself nice and tight together as I do my lifts. It also still helps keeping my back nice and supported, keeps my core engaged, and keeps me with that nice, small, tiny waist that I need for my X frame. All right, so those are my heavy sets done. Let's head up four sets, 10 to 12, my light, uh, yeah, light volume training. Check, check it out. So you also want to remember to go nice and slow on the way down. You want to explode up. You want to really control the weight, no matter what the weight is. We always want to keep it controlled. Um, so time under tension is huge for um, building and developing that muscle, especially if you have limited weights that you're using. Time under tension is huge, it's key. Really control that weight. in between the bar I use these handles just to help give me some grip because I don't have a, usually use a V bar attachment for a pulley system but I don't have anything like that so for that do with what you got I made one of these hopefully that'll work we're gonna do some bent over landmine rows Now the next thing we got is our dead stop, which means full extension on the ground. Put it down on the ground, relax for that one split back for a second, and then explode, pick it back up again. So our dead stop, overhand grip, 
Headley ropes. That's gonna work. Pretty much the upper part of the lats right there. Really gonna help that spread. So helps the upper part of the lats. That nice X frame, that V taper. Wow. Oh, really hard to try to get in the zone in the basement workouts, but uh, this one's definitely this one's definitely working for me. <sighs> it's been a struggle, but I still get it done no matter what. Got a, I find it helps to just like find a specific time every single day to do it. And if you can't find that specific time, then whenever you can get it in, whenever you have it, like even a half an hour, 25 minutes, full an hour, it doesn't matter. Whatever just gets you moving, lifting something, and you feel good at the end of it, that's all that counts. That's all that matters. So right now I got goals and keep working towards them. Try to keep them as similar to my gym workouts as possible. And just trying to keep that routine. That's what's working for me. So it's uh, get these rows done. The one big trick is to really explode with these ones. Definitely give it your all. Just power up, push the weight back down, explode back up again. This one's really good for these close again. So in this one right here, I'm drinking my mutant. I got gear, and I mix it with a little bit of. Um, first of all, gear is a EAA essential amino acid, so I use that for my intra enduring workout. Uh, that one really seems to help. It keeps me hydrated. Get that extra little jolt of natural energy, and uh, helps with a little bit of pump. It keeps me just coasting through my whole workout without feeling that crash or feeling burned out. Um, put like a little scoop of glutamine in here. It helps with digestion, um, muscle soreness, as a whole array of um, benefits, and uh, I seem to really like it. Uh, sometimes I will get stomach aches throughout a workout, or I used to in the past anyway, so just as a safety measure, I do put a little bit of glutamine in my uh, intra during workout, and I also do love the Mutant uh, BCAA Thermal and Candy Crush. That is the best flavor. I love it so much. Um, so I mix all three of these in here and I have that during my workout. We're gonna finish off this workout with some bent over rows. I don't have very many dumbbells, so I'm just gonna put my hand through the middle of the plate. I'm gonna rest my hand on the treadmill handlebar. We're gonna do some uh, bent over uh, rows. So we'll get that done, and then that is the end of my back workout for today. <laughs> Like I was saying before, it has been quite an adjustment going from out of the gym to in the gym to trying to establish a routine out of the gym again. Um, but literally, I'm just doing the best that I possibly can. Um, just still trying to eat well. I follow my meal plan, prep on the weekends, like meal prep on the weekends. So I have my whole week's worth of food already set out. 
Um, I'll show you my grocery shop that I did. Um, that was my week's worth of food. I also just came back from the store. Update in the grocery list for a little bit during lockdown. The gyms are all closed now. So we're back on the white fish. Got some chicken. Got some extra lean ground beef. Got some oats. Some bananas. The salad for dinner. The egg whites. The blueberries. And the big pack of eggs. I didn't need. I have back here. I have some white rice. And I have some sweet potatoes as well. So we're set up for at least a week and a half. Maybe we'll make the stretch out to two weeks. We'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, here we are with the white fish and the chicken. I'm gonna keep the uh, calories and all the food the same this week as well, just to see how my body responds to another week not being in the gym. Um, I'm not gonna lie when I say like it's like it's not easy but since I still believe and have so much faith in this goal, um, it just seems to be helping with that little extra push just to keep me on track and motivated. Um, some people may think that it is hopeless trying to prep for a show that you don't even know is gonna happen, but for me and whatever helps me get through this hard time right now, I just need to believe that if it's not gonna happen on that day, it is still gonna happen. So I want to be ahead of the game and do what I enjoy doing. So this, it makes me happy. And I love filming content for everybody. Um, so just let me know what you wanna see, what I can help with. Um, and uh, yeah, I just wanna keep doing this for you guys. Keep doing it for me, it makes me happy. And just shed a little bit of uh, insight and a little bit of hope. So. Here's the first week of lockdown done, and um, here's looking for more positivity and no, we'll push through, okay? fit last summer because of the tumor. Um, it was so massive I couldn't really wear shorts at all. So this was really exciting to pop these on today. Um, as you can see I got like a little bit of sun out. Um, the weather is just so gorgeous out that I had to put some shorts on get a little bit of head start on the tan. And it was really cool just to see how these were just a little bit big. So that's a plus for today, if there could be one, so that is definitely it. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the beautiful day, the sunshine. Um, yeah, and just get outside, just keep moving. So, see you guys later. Pumba! Hi, Pumba! What's up, bud? We have a little friend. This is our next door neighbor. I'm gonna give him a little carrots and some snacks and take care of him and love him. He's very cute. I like it. It's adorable. I mean, look at his cute face. Hi, Pumba. Oh my god, I love him so much. Hi. <laughs>